Hi, welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. This is Dr. O'Connor, and we're going to look at stoichiometry and thermochemical equations. So here we're told that we have iron and oxygen react to produce iron 3 oxide, which is rust. And we're given a delta H for this reaction, which is negative 1.65 times 10 to the third kilojoules. So we're being asked, is heat released or absorbed? Well, it's released. It's released because delta H is negative, okay? Is this an exothermic or an endothermic process? This is actually exothermic. And again, that's because we have a negative delta H. So now we're asked how much heat is released when 0.5 kilograms of iron rusts. Well, let's take a look at the chemical equation. When 4 moles of iron rusts, then we have 1.65 times 10 to the third kilojoules of heat released. If 2 moles of iron were to rust, then we would have half this amount of heat released. Okay? So these are the same types of problems we worked before, stoichiometry. You can think of heat being a product of the reaction for an exothermic reaction. For an endothermic reaction, then you can think of heat as a reactant. How much heat is released when 0.5 kilograms of iron rust? Well, what we need to do is we need to convert that 0.5 kilograms to moles of iron. Okay, so we have 0.5 kilograms of iron, and we know that 1 kilogram is 10 to the third grams, and the molar mass of iron is 55.85 grams. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate that. So we have 0.5 and we multiply that by a thousand and then we divide by 55.85. So this means that we have 8.95 moles of iron. So now what we need to do is we need to find out how much heat is released when this much iron is reacted. So we have 8.952 moles of iron. And now we look at the reaction. 4 moles of iron will produce 1.65 times 10 to the third kilojoules of heat. So 4 moles of iron. I want my moles of iron to cancel will produce 1.65 times 10 to the third kilojoules. And let's go ahead and calculate that. And we end up with 3,693 kilojoules of heat. Okay. And, you know, you just kind of look back. You, you look at this and you say, well, does this answer make sense? Uh, we have um, 3,700 kilojoules here, right, um, for 8 moles, uh, almost 9 moles of iron. Well, 4 moles of iron produces 1.65 times 10 to the third kilojoules. So, yeah, this makes sense. It's a little more than doubled, okay? So let's go to Part D. And in Part D, they ask how much rust will form when 8.26 times 10 to the third kilojoules of heat is released. Um, well, in this part here, let's go ahead and uh, determine the number of grams of rust that will form. We have 8.26 times 10 to the third kilojoules of heat released. Okay. And we know from our equation, and let's go back up here and take a look at that, that 2 moles of iron 3 oxide or rust are produced when 1.65 times 10 to the third kilojoules of heat is released. So let's use the balanced chemical equation here. So we have 2 moles of iron 3 oxide, okay? are produced when 1.65 times 10 to the third kilojoules of heat is released. Okay, so now all we have to do is convert the moles of iron 3 oxide 
two grams. So one mole of iron three oxide is going to have a mass of 159.7 grams. So let's go ahead and calculate this. And I end up with 1,599 grams of iron three oxide produced. So what we can do is we can change that to kilograms. So that would be 1.6 times 10 to the third kilograms of iron-3 oxide produced.